Come on, Soda Pop, let's go. Good evening. My name is Joy Tusher, and I would like to ask for your indulgence as I make my presentation. I have a brain disease, and I am on a lot of medication. I would like to emphasize that nothing I reference tonight concerns fixed route transportation. Due to time constraints, I will email testimony to this body concerning what I view as some doomed from the start task force recommendations that you and your fellow councilmen will be relying on, and councilwomen. Your transportation transit planning director, Sam Treblecock, and I disagree mightily on mandated ADA responsibilities. I will give you one example of the recommendations that I will be emailing to you. Uh, recommending that agencies like Dakota Abilities and South Dakota Achieve that have admittedly monopolized the paratransit system to magically overnight become owner-operators of their own bus services and provide 90% of their proposed annual rides is not realistic. There were 38,000 rides last year just from South Dakota Abilities. Add to that five-figure numbers from other like agencies. PTEP has been, been repeatedly told by Dakota Abilities Executive Director Robert Baum that they are in no way logistically or financially positioned to abide by the recommendations. They don't have to. They're not in the business of running a bus line. They're in the business of caring for people one-on-one. -on -one. I'm here tonight to join the chorus of passengers and advocates who have spoken ad nauseum on the funding of paratransit, which is also known to us, those of us who use it, as an adventure in time and travel. Each one of us are hoping that somehow something we say will make a difference. I too have faith in the men and women I am addressing. You all did just pray with me in the name of Jesus Christ and said amen and then pledged allegiance to the flag under God with liberty and justice for all. Sioux Area Metro's forced reclassification of the disabled population so otherwise eligible people with disabilities like myself to somehow overnight magically become able-bodied enough to walk to a fixed route stop is unrealistic. In my case, as you'll see from pictures in a moment, cruel and not the way to treat the least among you. Most importantly in the end, it is not a solution to the problem of funding paratransit. Could you please show the pictures for me, Jim, and I'll just continue to visit as long. Huh. These are a sampling of some of the injuries I have sustained over the last year. Some just walking down the hall in my apartment, tripping over my own feet. The photos of the large injury to my inside thigh is attributed to the inaccessibility of my apartment building during the use of a four-wheel scooter. I got stuck. It was like trying to drive a riding lawnmower through the doors. I trip and fall and faint as a result of multiple sclerosis and side effects from my mini medications. As you can see, I can do bad all by myself. I don't need the added obstacles of cracked sidewalks, overhanging trees, fallen branches, reckless, distracted drivers in order to get hurt, and time signals. I swear to God, at 41st and Louise, I actually said one day out loud, a disabled woman trying to cross in 28 seconds, will she make it? And I'm doing the countdown, and I'm at, it, it's gone, and I'm like waving to, anyway. Let me dispel the notion that might exist in this body or behind the editorial desk of the Argus leader that paratransit is akin to a limo ride or as Councilman Rolfing has referred to it, Cadillac service. There is nothing sexy about the bus. I do my best to make this look good. 
but there is only so much I can do with a 15 ton rolling steel box that smells of diesel and oppression. On any given ride, paratransit will be late, sometimes by as much as an hour, then take you on the scenic route where you will spend time picking up and dropping off others before reaching your destination, which you are now late for. So paratransit bus service does not behave like a limousine service or ride like a Cadillac. Have any of you ever ridden paratransit? Have you spoken with the union steward or a bus driver? If not, you're missing out on a valuable perspective. This city has a propensity to study every issue to death. Please, we don't need another study group or task force to nowhere. I beseech you, the powers that be, to look at paratransit in a new way. You hear the word paratransit and you immediately think money, not people who are sick. I call this demonstration the scales of justice. Perhaps it will help you visualize what your funding priorities look like. On this hand, we have a person with a psychotic disorder who must get to the psychiatrist in order to ensure they stay on their meds for the good of everyone. And here we have the maintenance of two dog parks and the funding of a new dog park. Which do you choose to fund? If you feel the need to meet the demand of a barking dog, surely you can fulfill your obligation to give a ride to a mentally disturbed human being. Here we have a child with a developmental disability who needs a ride to work or school, or who would like to go to one of the many entertainment venues in our city. It may not be your child, but the people who ride paratransit are someone's child, someone's mother, someone's uncle, and on this hand, we have the millions of dollars allocated to the T. Denny Sanford Premier Center and the Washington Pavilion and the ice skating rinks and the swimming pools and the ski lodges. Then for the love of God, $500,000 a year for flower pots and downtown landscaping. I forgot who, oh, it's a child with a develop, he doesn't have a chance. Joy, uh, again, thank you. You're at seven minutes and 30 seconds. Oh. Is there any way you could, uh, uh, you're, you're very passionate. And thank you. I think, I know the council's getting it. Is there any chance you could wrap it up a little yes. bit? Yes. Thank you. Yes. With the scales of justice, I hoped to dramatize what this council's priorities look like when it comes to the caring for the least among us. How easy you find it to spend ta taxpayer dollars to satisfy the entertainment desires of able-bodied citizens. You have the power to fund paratransit if only you had the will. Your consideration of my perspective, your attention here this evening, the extended time you graciously provided me, empowers me. God bless every veteran who ever served for my right to stand here and complain. Thank you very much. Thanks, Joy. Very good job. Thank you. Is there anybody else who wanted to address the council on, on a non-related funding topic, uh, any other topic? <clears throat> The reason I say that, uh, I, the next item will be on the, on, the, on the budget. So, folks, anything? Great job. Thank you so much. Come on, Soda Pop. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.